Hey mates, what is up? It is Kira here, and I decided to make a video about the new update uh, which came yesterday. So, a lot of new stuff, um, I'm not too sure where to start. Uh, I guess we'll start with the new um, inner ability stuff. So, what's changed with the inner ability now is that we can actually uh, lock and reset our inner abilities with Honor EXP. So, I mean, the notion of the idea is pretty awesome, but um, what I found is getting Honor EXP is pretty damn hard. So, I mean, resetting it only costs 100 Honor EXP, um, and those Medal of Honors only give about plus 10 EXP per one now, which is kind of <laughs> it's kind of terrible. So, it basically means that um, farming Medal of Honors to you know, reset your inability once you get it to legendary is pretty much almost impossible. So it's just really difficult. So um, right now, I really want to lock my critical rate and go for something good on my other two lines, but the EXP is just too much. So if I lock the legendary ability, that'll cost 10k EXP. And if I want to lock this line, it's another 3k. So 13k, 13.1k EXP to lock um, that line. That's pretty hefty. Um, so, I mean, obviously I'm not complaining that um, about this because I reckon this system's quite a bit better than the one we had before, but it still makes it, makes it really hard for us to actually lock this line and get something good. Anyway, another huge change is damage. So, um, if you guys are wondering why your damage has risen quite considerably, um, it's because... Well, apparently Nexon has made it so that the level difference between you and the monster um, affects how much damage you do. So, um, for instance, I'm level 230 and a mob is, say, level 180. So that the bigger the difference in the level between me and a mob um, will actually increase my damage, which is pretty awesome. So it actually re rewards people to, who level up um, and gives them, you know, higher damage. Um, not only that, they've actually raised the limit for stat for your stats so it used to be 999 now there is no limit which is pretty damn awesome so that um gave me about an extra 100 and 150 in which was pretty cool so that raised my range and ints quite a bit as well so yeah after this patch um basically my damage went up from oh let's just say or well, let's just say that my damage went up <laughs> quite a lot so my Reflections are now hitting 50 mil lines quite consistently um, up to the split lines as well, which is one of the goals that I've trying to be, you know, trying to, uh, one of the goals that I've been after for quite a while. So that's pretty awesome. Um, not only that, um, I'm not too sure if Nexon did this on purpose, but our morning star. Um, so Nexon either made the best mistake of their life or <laughs> did gave us a really good um buff but Morningstar now hits like a hurricane skill so I'll demonstrate this really quickly um, just go to a random map basically uh, Morningstar yeah it hits super super fast a lot of times as well so I'll show you now these poor yetis all that damage that that's just <laughs> really awesome so I really hope that they do not fix that just because it helps a lot with the DPS and as Lumis, we really need that. Um, another thing that came with this update was the cash up inventory transfer, which was probably one of my favorite things. So basically, we can now transfer um, cash up items to other characters for a limited time. And um, I know for I know for a fact that the teleport rock, the perm teleport rocks from quite a while ago, was you know probably the number one thing that everybody wanted. And so yeah. I've managed to brought that over to my Luminous, so now I have a perm teleport rock. It's pretty damn awesome. Um, I was pretty upset though, but I wanted, um, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but there was a weapon called the Wonky's Leaf, um, and that was one of my favorite weapons on my Evan. Uh, it was this green leaf type of stalk weapon, and turns out I can't equip it on my Luminous, so <laughs> I was pretty upset about that. Oh well. Anyway, um, decided I think I should show you guys what I think of the coin shop as well. So we have a new coin shop in the event hall to get there. Just need to go to the dimensional mirror. 
Oh, and they <laughs> they changed the Root Abyss um, quick move to the Dimensional Mirror as well, which is really damn annoying since uh, people without teleport rocks use that as a means to you know get around the continent. But now it's just inconvenient, really. So I'll go to the Vent Hall. All right, so this hot summer shop. I'll let you guys know what I think of this stuff. All in all, um, the stuff in there here is really damn good. So, what caught my eye the most was this temporal pod. Temporal pod. Temporal pod. So basically, it's a chair that decreases skill cooldown once when you sit in it, which is pretty pretty amazing for a chair. So. That's what I'm saving up at the moment. I only got about 160 coins, um, which is really... <laughs> we'll get to the coin farming later. Anyway, so that's what I'm after now. Also, this keyboard warrior damage skin, which is pretty cool. Blue and white. A little bit of pink as well. So yeah, I'm going to be after that one. So that one and the tem temporal pod is what I'm after. After that, I'll be getting these slot coupons. So... It's pretty cheap, 80 coins for two of these each. That increases our slots by eight for each tab, and that's that's going to help quite a bit. Um, the scrolls are also pretty awesome. So we get um, these cash up scrolls. Um, what I th I think that um, these scrolls actually aren't worth it because the amount of time farming for these coins uh, actually is probably better to. Just get NX and buy the <laughs> scrolls in cash shop. So we'll get to um farming coins now. So <laughs> this has been super annoying. Okay, so basically you can't get boxes from Evil World anymore or Dimension PQ. So you have to go to either Hall of Honor, Warrior Grounds, one of those places. And farming, co opening the boxes itself is really annoying because we get items that fill up our inventory really quickly so these like popsicles and all that that fills up the equip room like really quickly another thing is um basically once you open um a box uh you know one of these chat pop-ups will come up and that's just it's kind of stupid because now you can't hotkey the hot, sorry hotkey a box and you know just go afk and just kind of like leave that key down so now you actually have to every time you click it you have to press ok or enter which is slows it down quite a lot but i mean i guess you know coins weren't made to be obtained so easily so i guess the items that we get will be a bit more <laughs> i guess prized but it is really annoying um and i've been farming for about um Oh, let me rephrase that. I've opened about almost 2.5 to 3k boxes, and I've only got 160 coins. So, got a long way to go for that uh, Xenon chair, but I guess it'll be worth it. And yeah, um, is there anything else that I have to go over? Not really. So, pretty much... In summary, farming coins, go to Hall of Honor, go to um, a place that has a lot of mobs, uh, try to get a Kana in your map to increase the spawn, and just farm as many um, boxes as you can. Um, I find opening them easiest by using my... Um, I'm not sure what it's called. It's just basically where you can press your keyboard keys and it'll open, it'll click for you. So my plus key and my enter key is right next to each other, so I just kind of like click them both at the same time and it'll just kind of open so i mean that's the fastest way that i think it's still really annoying though but yeah hope you guys are enjoying this update i know a lot of a lot of the classes got um new revamps and all that i know dojo times are um really good as well so hope you guys like this new power that you found and yeah uh good luck finding coins and i will see you later